So hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can use Android Studio like a pro developer which means an experienced developer. So first I am going to Android Studio. So in this video I am going to teach some of the steps. So if we follow these steps, you can reduce the time of using the Android Studio. First you have to go to the view and appearance. You can see there are an option called toolbar, right? So you have to enable this toolbar. So this is common for the Windows and the Mac users. So I enable this one. So if you enable this one, you can able to see these back and forward buttons, right? So if you can see these two buttons, you are ready to go with the steps. So now we are going to see how we can use this back and forward option, right? The buttons. You can see there are one method declared, right? The method called change fab as normal, right? Uh, in order to view the implementation of this method. So if you are using uh, Windows, you have to click with control, right? So control plus mouse click right so I am using a Mac so I want to use command plus mouse click right so if I click this one I can see the right I can see the implementation of this code right so so after that I want to click this variable so I want to see what this is edit text condition right so I click this one so you can see that's a boolean right so so if I want to go back so I can scroll and go like this right so this is not a good way right that's why they have this back option so if i one click so you can see this is a place i view the implementation so if i click again that will go to that place which we click to explore this method right so you can see we can quickly navigate through the methods right using this uh, back and forward buttons right so if i want to see how many places i call this change fab as normal method right so i want to right click here and you can see find usage right so if i click this one in the bottom there are one pop-up will shown right so you can see this is a method implementation this is the place we have create the method you can see inside this main activity right so inside this method right you can see add to text method i am calling this change fab as normal method right and another place also so if i expand this one you can see in three places i call this change fab as normal right you can see this is the easiest way to we can find the usage of the methods and variable right so i'm going to click this time i'm going to click a uh, variable so i right click find usage you can see there are a lot of usage right so this is a place which we declared and here the place we are using these variables right so this is a cool method right using this android studio before seeing the future make sure to subscribe my channel and thank you so much so now i am going to show you guys how you can create objects very quickly so for this example i am going to create a intent object intent intent new intent so this is a way we have to create a object right from the class we are using the new keyword and we are creating the object for the intent this is kind of less time taking right so i delete this one so i am going to tell you so just type new and intent end of this line just put a dot and you can able to see right var right top arrow and you can able to see so these are the methods right so i am going to click var if i click this var you can able to see this object is created very quickly right so this is asking declare final so if you need you can declare as a final or else you can remove it right so this is the easiest way so i just read this again and i'm going to type new intent and end of this line you can see there are a lot of methods available right so if i press null you can see easily it's create a if condition right so i'm going to create a intent object intent and end of this line i just put and select var so if i select the var this will create a intent object right so in the second so this is the one way we can create a object so i'm checking the if condition and in the intent i'm checking null right if is it null then i create a if condition so 
while typing in this place if you want to change not equal to null you have to go back and change like this right i mean what i am meaning is so after you finish this one you have to go back like this and make this uh, condition like this right so this is kind of time taking process because you are you have to use the cursor into back places and go back and change that delete and change that as with the uh, this symbol right so this kind of time taking process so what i am telling is while you end up in this null you just put a dot and you can see there are one methods not right if i if you click this one you can see this will automatically change so if you want to remove this one right if you click not then you will change this condition right likewise you can use this methods to speed up your work right so you can in this side you can able to see what are the things will happen after you use this kind of things right so you can cast this one as well and see expression internal right so this is a very easiest way to use the android studio and speed up your work right so this is the only help i am requesting you guys so please make sure to subscribe my channel and thanks a lot